So weird not seeing Monica there. You found her? Oh yeah, they're saying hi. <laughs> oh, and they're like shipping us hat, too. Like, Preston got it for me for Christmas. It's so cute. Look, it's like a little you diva. Yeah, it's yeah, a little, it's a little rabbit. Oh my god, they're shipping us as well. What? <laughs> I I have a boyfriend. I'm taken. I'm sorry, Nicole. <laughs> hey, I mean, doesn't mean you can't say no. <laughs> that that is true. I love you, Quinn. Let's do a new game. Oh, goody. Oh, thank you, Micah. Yeah, no, you guys know I'm number, no, number two clans trash. My friend Lauren is number one clans trash. It's an ordinary school day like no other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Coley. And she's back. Sayori is back. Well, there already is one girl. See, I get that they're trying to, like, psych you out because, like, it's the same text that appears, like, when there is no Sayori, but now she's here. My neighbor and good friends since we were children. By the way, Coley, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not, I start to say, but I always do that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Does that mean that Sayori is the um, leader of the literature club now? I was gonna say literature. 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 Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo, you meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Oh, it's so wholesome! Ugh, the true ending. Protagonist and um, Sayori together. Oh, childhood friends. I love childhood friend romances. They're so cute. Oh my gosh! Ah! Okay, okay. Sorry, this is just so cute. I walk across the school and upstairs a section of the school I barely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room and I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Coley! What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Ha 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 ha. So you're the Coley that Sayori's always talking about. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by. We're at the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Do people ship these two? Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Thanks. Working? Coley, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club have decided to join us. You are Sayori. This is so cute! Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. This is just so nice. No way. No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Hee <laughs> hee. Well, Sayori's just happy that I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. You could be an official club! We have to celebrate! <laughs> what appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? I'm always low-key triggered whenever I hear that now, because I just expect her to, like, be cutting herself around the corner. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen... White fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats! Oh! The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. <clears throat> so cute! Wow, these look amazing! <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute! <sighs> hey, Yuri! Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed by it. Okay, okay, I'm low-key shipping this too now. It's cute, it's cute. 
Yeah, you're right as usual, presidents. Oh, it's so weird hearing that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, right? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as, <clears throat> then as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. This is so awesome. Ignore that. <laughs> that thing just fell off my desk. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find someone you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind- Oh! Oh my god! Sorry, 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 oh my god. Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Yeah, no. Uh. <laughs> I guess the meeting is over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. It is! It's so nice! Oh my gosh. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Coley. Oh, I don't want this to end. So it, it, It's been a roller coaster, but I really like this. Hang on. I think I'm gonna burp, but... It was a hiccup. Okay. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already know you were going to. Hee <laughs> hee. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Um. Is Sayori the self aware? What if Sayori was the self aware one the entire time? Like she and Monica. <gasps> Dude. This is some Twilight Zone shit again. Oh my god. Okay. I know everything she did! Maybe it's because I'm the president now. <gasps> the title, like, gives you all the power. But I really know everything, Coley. <laughs> oh god! What the heck happened? I know how hard he tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just... Oh, fuck no! I wanted happiness, and this is not happiness! I'm not the bad. This is the bad ending. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever. And oh gosh, the freaking room again. Ah, uh, hi forever. No. No. Ah, uh, ha ha um. Happening. I won't let you hurt him. Monica? Is Monica back? Ooh, whoa, it hurts. Why does it hurt? Ah! Is she being deleted by Monica? I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Coley. Goodbye, Literature Club. Slenderman, oh god. Put your hand right away into a 
Is that it? Well, <clears throat> what's going on in the corner? Delete it successfully. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> Is what I'm thinking happening actually happening? Is the game actually deleting itself? Because it had the freaking image not found thing. This game is so freaking meta! Why do I feel like crying all of a sudden? Oh my god! Special thanks to Monica and Coley. My reality. Game, yeah, no, it's deleting itself. That, yeah, I recognize those commands now. Made with love by Team Salvato. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, I continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the last time, for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error, script files missing, please reinstall. Is that it? Is it just gone? I mean, the shortcut's still here, but... Alright, chat! What what the frick's going on? That was something I was really happy at first, because I was like, yo... This is so cute! This is like the literature club, but in a perfect world. And then Sayori had to become self-aware. And Monica came back for a bit. Well. <laughs> um... All right, I might try to get all the endings um, later on. Gosh, I just feel so sad. Like, we could have had it all. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still reeling from Doki Doki. I'm gonna go back and like be editing all the footage and I'll just be like, <laughs> oh. Oh, guys, I get to tell you. So, um,. After, like, I was thinking over last night before I went to bed, it'd be really fun to do, like, a Doki Doki cosplay. Like, I'm trying to plan out cosplays for my conventions this year, and I thought, like, it'd be fun to do Monica or something, because I have green contacts already. I just need, like, the wig and, like, to throw together some, like, school uniform. But yeah, no, it'd be really fun to try to cosplay Monica, so we'll see if that comes out to fruition. I don't know. I usually cos like I always end up cosplaying guys because it's just cheaper and like there's not a lot of girl characters in like the shows I watch that I really like would like to cosplay but I finally have like the chance to cosplay a girl again so this is fun this is really fun oh thank you oh, well